Hello everyone. You must be wondering, Yotam, why haven't you recorded a video in a month? And to answer simply, I just didn't have a keyboard stand, so I didn't want to record anything that would not look good. And now that I finally, finally have a new keyboard stand, I'd like to show you an unboxing video and my initial impressions of it, the pros and the cons. And if you're a keyboard or a piano player, you might want to stick around, especially because this stand might be for you. It's a very good stand. And I'll tell you exactly why. Now, while this video will not have any playing in it, please stay tuned because many music videos are coming soon with new sounds, new keyboard, new genres, and a lot of new stuff for you all. Let's start with the good stuff. What do I like about this stand? First and foremost, it weights nothing. At around three kilograms, I can literally lift it with one hand or even three fingers. Another advantage is that it's not an X stand. So you have leg room and you also enjoy stability. Also, when folded, it is shorter than the normal sized X stand. And last but not least, it takes literally one second to set up. You just fold it open and tighten two screws and that's it. So what are the cons of this stand? What do I not like? First and foremost, and this is for me the biggest gripe, is that this stand is tall, right? I'm an average size guy. And even for me, it is taller than I would have liked. Coming in at minimum height of 63 centimeters, I wish it were less. Something like 55 or even 58 would have been perfect for me. And if you are an average sized guy, or especially if you're a girl, you would want to make sure that you have a chair that is high enough for you. So what I did. For example, for me, I just got a chair, I got a pillow, so it's perfectly fine. It's even softer to sit on and I have no problems, but just make sure it's not a problem for you. Now, another con is height adjustment. It's not very intuitive, right? You need to unscrew a couple of bolts. And the tool, by the way, to do that is provided. You don't need to get anything extra to do that process. But if you, for, for example, if you're a piano teacher, and you have students, you have children and adults, and you need to adjust the stand every so often, quite frequently, don't get this stand. It will be a headache for you, a big chore to constantly change the height. And lastly, uh, this stand comes with a support bar, but it's not long enough uh, for, to use when the stand is fully open to the maximum width. So that's why I'm not using it, for example, for, for this Kawaii ES. 120, which is a full-size 88 keyboard. It's long. I want to open the stand all the way through. I cannot fit the support bar. And as you can see, the stand is still stable. I have zero problems with it, even if I'm playing some technical stuff, fast, you know, rig time, fast arpeggios. Can handle it perfectly fine. It is much more stable than the X stand that I had before, before it. And you could you can uh, see the extent I had in my previous videos. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video with music.